In Indian administered Kashmir, local government officials are trying to overturn a decades-old law which grants the army sweeping powers in their province. The Armed Forces Special Powers Act gives the army power to arrest civilians without a warrant, as well as to shoot to kill on sight. Human rights groups say this law, which also applies to other northeastern states, has resulted in massive abuse. Shanawaz Khan reports from Kashmir. Last October. Umar Abdullah, the chief minister of Indian administered Kashmir, announced that he would revoke part of the controversial Armed Forces Special Powers Act that gives the army broad authority to operate in Kashmir. The act, first passed in the 1950s, was designed to give the army power to deal with insurgents in parts of the country plagued by violence. It was extended to Indian administered Kashmir in 1990, but though violence is an all-time low in Kashmir. The law has remained. The biggest complaint among people here has been that though the situation has improved, the laws enacted because of the bad situation have not been removed. Today, I am glad to say that perhaps the time has arrived, and the situation allows us to start removing those laws from some areas of the state. I cannot name the areas, but we are at a stage today that these laws would be removed from some areas within days. Local residents assume Abdullah was referring to the districts of Srinagar and Jammu, where the Indian Army has not been operating. With the act remaining intact in the rest of the region, the move would be largely symbolic. The announcement, however, was met with fierce resistance from Indian Army and right-wing Indian political groups, who say they need it in order to fight terrorism. Lieutenant General K. T. Parnaik heads the Northern Command of Indian Army. Based in Indian administered Kashmir, Pakistan continues to have its terrorist infrastructure, which is intact. And unless we are able to remove interference from Pakistan, it may not be a correct time for us to think of revoking it even partially. Under the law, the armed forces operating in Kashmir are immune from prosecution, which Kashmiri residents say. Has encouraged widespread abuse. उसको वहाँ से ही निकाला गया खिड़की से और बाहर तकरीबन साल मोहम्मद अशरफ मागरेज निफ्यू जावेद अहमद मागरे was killed by the Indian Army in 2003. मागरे says जावेद, a 17-year-old student, was dragged out of his bedroom at night by patrolling army men and shot dead after they found the lights of his room on. The army called जावेद a militant and said he died in crossfire. The local police investigations into the case have established the family's allegations. The army troops have never been tried. Magre has been seeking justice for his nephew's death for nearly eight years. Permission to take part in the government investigation. For prosecution against accused troops, permission from the defense ministry is required, and it has been pending with the defense ministry since 2007. Abhi tak to pada hai defense ministry. Abhi tak sanction nahi mil rahi hai. Srinagar-based rights activist Khuram Parvez says that there are many more such cases. At least we know of hundred, uh, more than hundred cases where um, prosecution has just stopped because army has not cooperated. Prosecution has just stopped because there is Armed Forces Special Powers Act protection. Parvez says the act is not the only problem. However, it is not the law which has been the reason for the uh, human rights violations in Jammu and Kashmir. It is basically the lawlessness. Because if you look at the past, we have uh, a, 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 a very infamous group called Ikhwan, which is a pro-government uh, militia. It was created and sponsored by government of India, and one wonders under which law government of India can create such an uh, organization. It's not the first time officials have tried to repeal this law. A high-profile commission set up by the Indian Prime Minister recommended its revocation in 2007. The army has consistently resisted such moves, even leading to riffraffs with other federal government ministries, which seem to favour its revocation. Srinagar-based senior lawyer Zafar Shah says there are other laws that protect the army's interests, even if APSPA is revoked, but the level of immunity will not be the same. Sir, the army finds that this act provides them complete protection and also immunity against any prosecution. So I feel that the army is trying to stick to this act. The latest controversy has made it apparent 
that the Indian Army is not willing to concede any ground, even in areas it no longer manages. Shanawaz Khan, FSRN, Srinagar.